Yo my people them, CFC Realist Blue, back with another video. I'd just like to thank you guys for all the support across all the platforms, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat, Facebook, especially obviously on YouTube. This time last week, I had 273 subscribers, now I got 291. The aim is to get 300 before the end of um before the end of February, which is tomorrow. So please help me get nine more subscribers before tomorrow to hit the 300 mark. Roll to 1K subscribers, hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any Chelsea content. As I feel like I provide top quality Chelsea content for you guys, given my opinion. So let's get into today where I'm going to go through the latest Chelsea news in regards to Graham Paul, who has two games left to um to has two games left to save his job. An injury update in regards to Thiago Silva, as well as a transfer, a player, Chelsea player transfer update in regards to Andre Santos. But we're going to start with Graham Potter. And Matt Law reported today, and I quote, The message from the Chelsea owners remains one of wanting to, bro of wanting to provide support and backing. And yet, the growing feeling around Chelsea is that the next two games will ultimately be make or break for Graham Potter. The next two games, we have Leeds at home, Dortmund at home in the Champions League. If we don't win games, any of these games, Grandpa could be out because there's rumours already, not even rumours, like we're in talks, apparently we, we, we've talked to um, Pochettino, um, Thomas Frank from um, Brentford. These are guys who the board are looking at because they are aware of the situation and how bad everything is. And as much as they want to give Graham Potter time, as much as I'd want to give Graham Potter time, results are everything and we can't continue playing the way we've been playing. A lot of that is down to Graham Potter not wanting to change tactics. Why would you not play five at the back? Why wouldn't you? We play with more attackers and we do worse. When you had a good run at the start of the season, you was playing with a three at the back, five at the back. That's what we was doing. You don't want to change, and these are the things that will ultimately cost you the job. Because yes, we have a lot of talent. Yes, trying to fit them all in is not is not ideal because some guys want to start, some guys, some guys want to start, some guys are upset because they're not starting. Whatever, man. But Grandpa, you need to deal with this and you need to part of the best team. Just the other day, Badia Shu as if Farmer. You didn't want to start either of them. Why? How do you start Kudabali? That doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. Putting Kai Havertz as a striker does not make any sense. No sense whatsoever. It does not make any sense. So I'm going to be so completely honest with you. You have to turn this ship around. If not, it's going to be curtains. And this time next month, you will not be a Chelsea. You will not be the Chelsea manager. I understand everything. I understand everything has not gone in your favour. By the end of the day, the results and the performances it's going to be down to you because you don't want to change anything you got a manager like Eric Ten Hag at Manchester United his team could be playing boring not even playing boring just not playing good he makes a tactical change in the game they win the game they win the game even again even when they're Carabao Cup final they have Alan St. Maximum they, Alan St. Maximum was against Dallow Man United are winning at the end of the first half what does he do? Puts Juan Basaka on. Why? Because he knows the, the danger. He can see it. He's going to tactically change everything to better his team, to give them the best possible chance. You have not been doing that, Graham Potter. You have not been doing that enough. And whether you make changes, sometimes it's just too late. And I can't lie, we can't keep standing for this. I'm not one to be, um, I'm not one who's going to be here telling you guys, yes, the loss and everything is acceptable. No, it's not. And whether we like it or not, I just feel like we have to change the way we think and the way we structure our club based on the fact that we've been second managers for way too long. And maybe this is what we need. Maybe this is what maybe this is what everything comes down to. Having this poor of a season is based on everything we've done wrong throughout the last couple of years and now it's caught up with us. Hey ma'am. It's going to be peak, but Graham Potter, I really hope that you can turn this around because I want you to succeed at Chelsea. You're not a great manager right now, but it doesn't mean you can't become one in the future. And with time, anything can happen. We just need to give him time, but 
If we don't get any results, if we lose the next two games, psh, I can't, I won't be, I won't be, um, I won't be like, oh yeah, I don't understand why he got sacked. I can completely understand why he got sacked. Whether I like it or not, I can completely understand it. And that's why I really hope that you can change everything around and let's get to those two wins. But leading on to the next subject, where we're talking about Thiago Silva's injury update, this is what's going to make it even, even harder for Graham Potter. It's going to make it even harder for Graham Potter. Why? Because Thiago Silva, he's meant to be missing the next two games, basically. He's going to have a scan on his right, on his, on his right knee, and he's probably going to be sidelined for the next week, which means he's going to miss Leeds this weekend and miss Dortmund next week. What you can do, Potter, as well, to change all this stuff around, also get better soon, Thiago Silva, what you can do in this is play a back five and... Let's do something people want to force us to do. Trevor Chalabar, Badia Shaw, Wesley Fofano. I don't want to see Kudabali in our defence anymore. I do not. Not him, not Kukurela. I don't want to see none of them again starting. No. No. We need to reassure this defence and what better way? Wesley Fofano, Badia Shaw, Trevor Chalabar. One for the future. People that will be here five years from now. Who should be here? They're contracted for at least an, uh, for another five years. Thiago Silva, as great as he is, he's not going to be here for the next in the next two years. So maybe this is a blessing in disguise, and we could try not only change how we play, not change how we play, but change the results. But not only that, but we can start a new partnership at the back, and know that even if Thiago Silva ever gets injured again, we can we can get through it. Because he's been carrying the defence on his back all season. It's now time for other people to take the load. That's what we need to do. It's time for other people to take the load and share it. If we have a back five of Ben Chilwell, Reese James, Wesley Fofana, Trevor Chalabar, Baddy Shaw, I feel, I feel confident. I feel confident. Because I know that these men can do a job. Could a boy for me right now can't do that job. Kukurela can't do that job. We can't, and we have to. We have to prioritize because the defense is the best thing we have. That's been the only positive point throughout this whole entire season is our defense. We have to reassure that the more defenders we have, maybe that will bring more positivity. Because the same way, like I said, the same way when you had the nine game on being run, we were playing with a five back wing backs. That's what has got the best out of the team, got us the most wins. You need to go back to that potter. You have to go back to that. Thiago Silva being injured is not ideal. It's not what's best. But what can we do? Do we crumble because he's injured? Or can we rise above it and be as good with him? We be as good, be as good as we are with him as we are without him. In order to do that, we need to try new things. And this is the new thing. Five at the back. Chalabar, Wesley Fofano, Badia Shaw, Reese James, Chua. That's what we need. And Potter. For your sake, you better try to do this stuff because if you go back to playing 4 2 3 1, it's long. The more attackers we have, it, it's, it's just try because we're not scoring goals. Even with four attackers, we can't score goals. Let's take away the, an attacker, reassure the defense, and let's see what happens. Because clearly, that clearly in the first couple of games, that's what got us our best results. 4 2 3 1, it can't run, it can't work. Absolutely can't. So hopefully you can change this around. But as I said before, that's the injury update on um, Thiago Silva. He's going to be gone for a week. Get better soon, Thiago. Hope to see you soon. Amen. But now it's on to the last topic of the day. And this is Andre Santos. Chelsea player transfer target update. And the report that came out today from Fabrizio Romano was the fact that um, Chelsea and Vasco de Gama are closing in on agreement for Andre Santos loan after the deal collapsed with Palmeiras. The reason why it collapsed with Palmeiras is because they don't agree to terms to let Andre Santos leave to go to the Under-20 World Cup in the summer and to return to London in July. That is what the terms were. They were not trying to agree to that. But Vasco de Gama, the club that we bought um, Andre Santos from, they're going to be accepting those terms. That's what they're going to do. They're going to allow him to play for a couple months. 
go to the under 20 World Cup and come back to Chelsea. Chelsea are going to cover all of the wages as well. So Vasco de Gama are not paying anything. We're going to be still be paying their wages. We should allow Andres Santos to go and get some game time because that's the best thing for him. And I love how the board are doing this, prioritizing the fact that he has to go to the under 20 World Cup, that he has to and to return to Chelsea in July. We're building for the future. And a man like Andre Santos, you guys, he is going to be a gem. He will be a gem. Remember I said this, Andre Santos, he will be a gem. And he needs to get nurtured that way. So, big up Bowley and them and there for allowing him to do this, to figure out a situation. Because for him to just sit down and do nothing because we can't give him a work permit, for him to sit down until the next jan until the summer, that is not good. That's not good. That's unproductive. And we're being productive. We're going to send him out alone and let him get football. That's the best thing. And I'm, in terms of the young talent, I'm very happy with what Todd Bowley and the... And, and, but Alex Barley have done Paul recently I'm happy with what these guys have done so let's just hope that everything goes well Santos has a great under 20 World Cup which I will be watching as well and um, yeah hopefully everything works out fine he comes back in July and eventually this time next year we can be talking about Andrew Santos being playing very well in the Chelsea team but hey man we have to wait to see but it's going to be interesting, interesting. It's going to be an interesting year, an interesting couple of days. We're going to see how Chelsea deal with this. Can Graham Potter, can you figure out a way to get wins, especially when we don't have Thiago Silva? Will you go back to Will you go back to the back three, play a 3-4-2-1? Three, will you do that? We're going to have to wait and see because it's crunch time. The next two games, if you do not win, it is bye-bye, most likely. And as much as I don't want it to happen, not because I necessarily think Graham Paul will be the man to lead us to the future. I don't know. I can't give you a yes or a no, in my opinion. But we're here to see. If he can change it around, get these next two wins, take us through to the next round of Champions League, then the, the fan base won't be toxic anymore. Or not as toxic. So let's just see what I'm going. But on that, you guys, hope you guys have a great day. Enjoy the rest of your day. As well as that, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat, and Facebook for more Chelsea content. I'm CFC Riddles Blue, and I'm out. Peace. Come on, Chelsea. Come on, Chelsea.